Hey guys, Repairman here. So, I thought I'd give you guys a little tour and show you my survival world. I've been working on it uh, for about two, maybe three weeks. Um, it's coming along quite nicely. Now, uh, still got some stuff to go. Still got uh, the guard towers on all four corners, which are still in being put together. Um, possibly going to put in a moat. Still playing around with the idea. Want to put in uh, enough lava so it basically so it just shows up on the map uh, a little red dot line around it. So probably gonna put like maybe three or four or five whatever things of lava around it. Have a drawbridge above it. Maybe put in some redstone uh, to make it auto retract. Maybe, maybe not. I'm still playing around with some of those ideas, but it's quite possible. Now also uh, putting in to this place we have a storage room back there but since we've expanded this building I'm going to make a, a bigger more expanded storage room instead of just throw them in chests have an automatic storing system dump everything into a chest and have it automatically put it where it needs to go without having to worry about all that and so come in here doors automatically close behind you so that way you're safe from critters and they can't get in got uh, automatic well not automatic but uh, got a cobblestone generators break the blocks here Let's tie a rubber band around your controller and you got tons of cobblestone when you wake up in the morning <laughs> uh, we had that thing almost fall Eat, eating through quite a bit of that so over here we got a chanting room we got a brewing area, unlimited water supply, a guard, uh, iron golem for a guard. And up top we have uh, a mini, mini farm, uh, one row of potatoes, wheat, sugar cane, and carrots, and an automatic melon and pumpkin farm. Unfortunately we haven't found any melon seeds or pump, uh, melons yet, so we just have tons and tons of um, pumpkins from that generator rough pool as you see you still got still got a bit of the roof to go been cooking like crazy tons of netherrack to make the bricks uh, have an, a mini automatic furnace here dump all our stuff in funnels it into the furnace cooks up we had automatic um, fuel thing as well with a chest above it but since we're now we've switched over to basically using lava buckets since it's so abundant uh, we've gone away from that with using a chest and hoppers in the back instead we've used those to put into our item dis item sorting system and uh, yeah items get pumped out there when we're done that's how we've cooked up all these nether brick bricks some of them we've actually mined from the actual uh, nether fortress but yeah. and got an automatic chicken farm there's like seven chickens above this hopper encased in around with cobblestone so they're sealed up there and they pump in the eggs into this chest and then they drop down into here and then we have a timer circuit so that way before we had it so as soon as their item there's eggs in there it would pump them out just as fast. Problem with that is then we wouldn't have chicken eggs to um, use for cooking and other things. So we threw in a timer circuit here. One stack and eight seems to be the perfect amount for our system. Stupid computer making noise because I'm you know, also uh, I'm an IT guy so constantly fixing computers when they're reinstalling and stuff making all kinds of ruckus in the background. <laughs> But anyway, so that's this. Also have an automatic item delivery system. Delivers it from our mine way down under, like level 12, where diamond is most prevalent. And brings all those good stuff, redstone, diamonds, and all that good stuff, brings it up here, gets dumped in this chest. Eventually, I'll have this tied in with the item sorting system, so it'll come up here and automatically be sorted but goes into a chest just for now until we finish sorting all that out. And also we've hurdled all our cattle and stuff into here. We got pigs and chickens, horses, and 
and uh, we even got a villager and stuff. A little pack mule or whatever. <laughs> Tons of uh, sheep. Two of each color, some extras of white. So that's that. And now where we get all that lava from is the nether. We have come down here, we have a nether portal. And right through here is where the item sorter goes through. I'm going to basically just put this in today. So now I'm going to close this all off. But, oh, before I show you, oh yeah, I'll show you this first. Uh, so we go down to the nether. Clo uh, spawned it into our tunnel we had over there. So we closed it all off so that nothing could get at us. Closed up all this, mined a hole through here, and then mine down and place box and mine down place box basically to protect this whole area so I, while we're on our way down nothing no those gas or anything are attacking us knocking us off into the lava because we got all the way down to the bottom lava floor of course though here you can be attacked by the gas but hopefully you can duck and tuck and weave and bob and get out of the way <laughs> And uh, here we just come in here, grab all the lava we could ever want. And uh, once we can't get any more from arm's reach, we just build another layer or so and build out. Got tons of lava where that came from, so no worry about running out. And another nether portal doesn't really go to any place special. And if we mine it too much uh, nether brick, brick or lava, we can always dump them in here and then go up and get them get more supplies in our inventory and then bring them all back home. Probably going to also make an item, uh, little transport with the minecart system in the nether as well. Haven't gotten to that yet, but it's on a uh, possible to-do list. Just got to see how buggy, if there's any bugs with sending minecarts through the uh, nether. Haven't played around with that myself yet. Now also if we head back down into our mine shaft and before we had full access to the, that all that lava we had a lava room for storing lava this is also good if we're now we don't want to go all the way down another we can just pick up lava from here we brought lava from other areas dumped it here put two layers of blocks in between so we could run around and not get hurt and if we accidentally do happen to fall in and get burnt we got water in all the corners to put ourselves out right away so we don't die. <laughs> Especially when you go into, uh, like, you know, when you're not in peaceful and you're in, you're in uh, easy, normal, and hard difficulty, it can uh, die pretty easy in lava. <laughs> in there for more than a second, and you're toast after uh, the fire's gone out on its own, so it's good to have water. Our little work area here, because uh, for our stair, before we had a uh, minecart system, this is our mine staging area so mine our minerals dump them into here uh, cook stuff up if we need to do craft and in here main thing I did as soon as I got this world generated punched the seed into uh, a chunk data website I forget the exact website but uh, basically tells you hey where the slime chunks are and from there I just go and figure it out okay it's here went down here bam now we got a little slime farm every time I come down here I always go and dig through and uh, break up the tree so that way we got wood it's always going through way more wood <laughs> and uh, seems healthy <laughs> yeah and then just I usually go through and break enough of these leaves just enough to get a seed or two so I can replant it usually have a stack full in that chest so I don't have to wait for these to break uh, break these on my own or wait for them to go away on their own but uh, I accidentally brought that stack up with me last uh, time I was up I grabbed them and planted them and I forgot to go run back and put them back in there there's another layer of the slime farm I was going to make several more and once I had enough iron make an automatic slime farm but you know slime isn't that much in demand quite at the moment so no need for that a nice little 
this is level 12 I happen to put the bottom all the way here I think it's like level 7 or something here or something like that 6 but we just dump all our items in here say stack of 16 those get pumped into this minecart here as soon as it's full it gets sent off on its way delivered to the castle which will go into the automatic sorting system so all these lovely little items we pick up from down here get automatically sorted it's like an unlimited storage we just dump the items in there like crazy you can spend hours and hours and hours down here without having to surface for air <laughs> and of course because we have food and wood and other supplies down here we don't have to surface for quite some time so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video as we get more uh, go and uh, probably upload another video or two of the survival world 100 percent survival still getting achievements and stuff not quite as often anymore because gotten all the easy ones of course but uh, yeah, generally I usually play creative uh, only, but I thought I'd give survival more of a try, and uh, it's definitely been uh, fun, especially when uh, you're not playing by yourself. It's definitely quite entertaining, and uh, you know, come up with some pretty cool stuff. And for times when I'm like I'm not quite sure what I want to do, like with this item sorter, can jump onto my creative world, make the items and stuff on there get a work out the iron out the details to get the final design and then uh, actually make the stuff here so that way I'm not wasting materials since this is 100% survival it's kind of can be difficult at times to come up with raw materials if you waste them uh, the wrong way luckily though also I just recently got a silk pickaxe from enchanting so now I can go and use the ender chest um, backpack little thing basically just have a silk touch with me and uh, enter chest and bam it's like I have a backpack with me wherever I go yeah, well and I'm gonna eventually throw some redstone under these to lengthen out the delay of them opening because that is always annoying me like crazy always getting stuck on those doors yeah well that's it you guys have fun this is repairman T opening wishing you well